Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and check out my content. I hope you decide to stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Soul Squad. And also hit the little bell icon to be notified every time I upload. And let's get into today's video. Soul Squad. For today's video, I'm just going to share a fun little story time with you guys and show you the new doll, Sadie. Some of you may have seen her on social media, but I'm just going to share with you the fun that went along with obtaining Sadie. And of course, I acquired dolls in the strangest of ways, and I'm going to have to get a whole new house just to hold all of these dolls. Like I said, most of them just come to me because people think they're creepy and they get them for me or like her she was gotten for me at the days of the dead um i'm going to share her whole little fun shenanigans on this video and today's just kind of a filming day so i'll be filming all kinds of videos for you guys i'm not sure what order each thing's going to go up that way i'm going to schedule the videos for at least this week and next week possibly so that way we don't miss a beat and we've got some fun exciting things coming up and i'm just now getting started on a lot of the plans that i had for this year um that's why i'm going to do my life update sooner than later um a lot of things have changed and that's going to be good for benefiting this channel because i'm wanted to switch focus to this channel and I still didn't get to and I've made a lot of changes I've accepted a lot of things and I've done some really fun stuff and I'm just gonna start taking you guys along with me on everything I'm gonna start getting rid of things that I don't need I'm gonna start not overwhelming myself for one um, and this year it's all about my journey that I'm going to just do things that make me happy and that's just you know going on a lot of adventures and taking you guys with me and that way now I don't have so many obligations elsewhere so that I have you know all these plans and I can't do them because I'm so busy that I don't have enough hours in the day and I'm not sleeping and I'm still not getting anything done and then by the time it comes down to YouTube I just I'm like okay I didn't even get to film so it's been really crazy so now I've just stepped back for some things I took some plunges into some things for YouTube and accepted a lot of interesting things for this journey so I'm excited to move forward so I'm hoping that the life update will come up next for you guys I'm not sure what you know the schedule is going to be for these because I'm going to schedule them but I'm not sure what order they're going to go up but for today we're just going to do a fun little video and I'm going to introduce you to Sadie this is Sadie with a T do not forget that it's S-A-T-I-E and <laughs> I'm going to tell you how she got that name um, this is her. She's from the 1920s to 1930s era, and she has no legs, and you know, she's old, and that's the kind of dolls that I like, and of course, she found her way into my life and ended up coming home with me, so here she is. Um, she has this little music box. It's really cool. I don't have a doll like her. Um, she doesn't work anymore, but the guy was like, here, you can take this and you can fix it up, and I'm like, you know, the older the better. I don't really want to fix it up. But anyway, I obtained this, and at Days of the Dead, I had planned on vlogging because so many awesome things happened, but I just didn't get to because it was so hectic, and we were doing one thing right after another, so I will incorporate some pictures at the end, of course, but... This is Sadie, and she was named by Matthew Willard, if you're familiar with him. He's Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, and he's in Scream and all that. And he hates Sadie, so he named her Satan Spawn, and we call her Sadie for short. That's why it's Sadie with a T. So she has had a terrible time with Matthew the past, let's see, it's been about two weekends ago. And now she's here she's safe from him but now i'm gonna bug him by like tweeting her to him and messaging him with updates with sadie so i hope he sees this and she like embeds herself into his dreams for being a jerk to her but when he first met her he grabbed her and kicked her in the head so she had some rough times you know and then he's the one that got to name her and then went to satan spawn so we call her sadie so it's not so harsh but here she is here is sadie and she got beat up throughout Days of the Dead. I got her the last day, like before we were coming home. And Matthew gave her, you know, terrible time. And then, so every time that we would get around him again, I would start like waving at him with her and everything. And he would like cuss on the phone. <laughs> He's like, I hate that. So now 
we're gonna just really mess with him with that. But anyway, um, and then you guys on social media probably saw that she hung out with Kane, and Kane like beat her head on the table and everything. We took some pictures with her, and I think that he kind of got to liking her a little bit, even if he doesn't admit it. And yeah, he said that's just creepy, but you know, it was like in a good way. <laughs> So after he beat her on his table for a little while, he started like hanging on to her and then they took a picture together even though he looks absolutely terrified, which I'll insert that one at the end as well. But I'm um, speaking of Kane Hodder, that's my buddy. He's my ghost buddy and even though he didn't really like Sadie at first, I think he's kind of developing a liking for her. So he's not as scared as Matthew Lillard. But the cool thing about this was um I took him, I wanted to meet the actual Chucky doll from the movie, so Alex, that's the guy from the movie, is so awesome, I love him, but he played the child actor, and he's been in, like, I think the cult of Chucky, but I got a picture with the actual Chucky doll, but I was talking to Alex with my doll that I'd got, because it was kind of strange that I ended up just acquiring this in the middle of the convention, everybody's like, okay, that's kind of creepy, but um, Alex did sign her, by the way, too. I had him sign her just because of our doll connection, because he was telling me how when he first got the role to play in Child's Play as Andy, um, he lived in a house full of these, like, old dolls like this, because his mom would get them and keep them, and she would resell them. Sometimes she would even make them, you know, better and do some reconstruction and fix them all up and then sometimes she would just sell them as vintage from my understanding so it was really cool to know that you know at first he was used to all these creepy dolls and he gets a role where a doll's trying to kill him and yeah so we've got that connection the doll connection but I just wanted to share her little story even though she got beat up and banged up and she got to meet some cool people she got named by a jerk Matthew Lillard no offense, but yeah, that, it's kind of a jerk move. Yeah, this is Sadie. I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I'm going to share some pictures from that, and who knows? We might even try a communication attempt with her, even though, you know, we have no backstory or in, any information um, regarding her in the past. She just ended up coming home with me from that convention, which is really weird, but yeah, here she is. She's going to go with my collection because the creepier the better, and she needs a good home now after all the beatings that she entailed. So maybe we'll try to start communicating with like one doll a month and see if we get anything from it and then we can deem which ones are haunted and which ones aren't, if any of them are either. But we'll see which ones are possibly haunted and which ones we think are just cool and creepy. So I just wanted to share her and her little story with you guys because it's quite hilarious. I wish you could have been there. It's just we have so much fun at these events and things. It's crazy. But Anyway, next time I plan on vlogging, I'm looking into getting a new camera and everything right now, so I don't know. Like, I want to improve the quality and, you know, everything video-wise and what I produce, so I'm really excited for a lot of things that's happening, so hopefully my life update's one of the ones you see in the next week or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below or Sadie will come at you in your dreams. Um, and join the Soul Squad. Also, thank you guys from the very bottom of my heart for all your support. I'm so excited for where we're going on this journey. And I will see you guys very, very, very soon. Again, thank you guys. I love you. And don't forget, stay humble, stay kind, stay awesome. And I'll see you in my next video.